Hello, in this video I will show you how to install GCC 14 on your macOS computer. The GCC compilers for C and C++ can be used as an alternative to the Apple provided Clang or for testing new C23 and C++ 23 features that are maybe not included in Clang. We will start by installing the command line tools. You can skip this step if you already have the command line tools installed on your Mac. Open a terminal and write Xcode select install. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, this will take some time. Software evolves and things that worked at the time of this recording may not work in a few months or in a few years. Please check the video description for updates and corrections. Press done and bring back your terminal. We can verify that everything was properly installed by checking the version of the Clang, C and C++ compilers. If you see no errors, you are good. Depending on when you are watching this video, you may see a different version number for Clang. Don't worry if you don't see exactly the same number as in the video. Next, we'll need to install Homebrew, which is a package manager for macOS. Open your browser and search for Homebrew. Copy the install line and paste it in your terminal. Press enter and write your password when asked for permission to start the installation. Once the installation is finished, you need to copy the two commands that are on the screen and run this in your terminal. You need to copy the commands as they are on your terminal. Pay attention to what I select and copy. After you copy the first command, paste it in your terminal and press enter. Now repeat for the second command. We are ready to install GCC. Write brew install GCC and press enter. Once the installation is finished, close and reopen your terminal. This will ensure that the path for the new installation is refreshed. Let's check if GCC was properly installed. The simplest way is to check the C compiler version. Similarly, you can check the C++ compiler version. Looks good. Again, depending on when you are watching this video, you may see a different version than 14.1 as it was the case when I recorded this. Next, I will show you how to use GCC to compile a simple C program. First, let's write the Hello World C program. I will use the Nano Editor for this, but you can use your preferred editor. Save the file as hello.c. Now let's compile the program. The above command means compile the hello.c program using the C23 standard, enable all warnings and save the executable as hello. Next, you can run the program. It worked. Now let's write the C23 program and check if we can build it with GCC. Please note the use of the print header that was added by the C23 standard. This will let us use a nicer syntax for printing messages to the terminal. Now compile the program with the next command. If you see no error, run the executable. As a final and optional step, let's test how we can use C++ modules. Copy the previous hello.cpp to hello2.cpp and open hello2.cpp in your editor. We need to change the first line to use C++ modules instead of headers. Unfortunately, at this time, using modules with GCC is not straightforward. First, we need to build the standard module that we want to use, print in this case. Second, we can compile our actual program. Next, 
Now we can execute the program. Please note that you need to build the print module just once. If for example you modify hello2.cpp, you can compile the file directly without rebuilding the module. Thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe. If you are interested in other programming subjects, please let me know in the comments.